Okay, brethren, this is Eric. EJ Love, the Sword of Truth YouTube channel. Just coming back to you with another video today in regards to the Kanye West, Jamal Bryant, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church Sunday service. And first and foremost, I just want to give all praises to our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for the sins of mankind. So that way, if we would repent and put our faith and trust in Him, we too could have power and victory over our sin. Power and victory over our sin. This is something you'll never hear, Mr. Jamal H. Bryant. The H stands for heretic. This is something you will never hear him talk about. I've listened to several, several of his sermons since he became the intern pastor or full-time pastor so to speak at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church this used to be formerly Eddie Long's church until he got caught up in his big uh, perverted sex scandal um, you know m messing with messing with young men uh, sodomizing them you know paying them off these kind of things uh, the Lord cursed that man with AIDS and he died because he would not repent. He also exalted himself. I know many of you are familiar with the video where he gets exalt, exalted in the congregation. You have that fake Jew come in there and wrap the scroll around him and they lift him up, they exalt him like he's some sort of king. Well, those that exalt themselves will be humbled, it says in the word of God. God resists the proud and he gives grace to the humble. And this guy, he always got a proud look on his face. So... Today, September 15th, 2019, at 9.30 this morning, they had the Sunday service at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Lithonia, Georgia, suburb of Atlanta, basically. And Kanye West was a special guest there today. And um, let's see, who else did they have there today? It says, Kanye West took Sunday service to Atlanta, Pastor Jamal Bryant, New Birth, this morning. Also in the attendance was Chris Tucker, Two Chains, T.I., Nelly, Jermaine Dupri, and more. I mean, it was just a big rap concert, it sounds like, to, you know, for the most part. We had, you know, all sorts of big names there. Um, I'm, I'm not opposed to people giving their life to Christ, first and foremost. I'm not opposed to that. I believe wholeheartedly that, you know, we are to give our life to the Lord obviously and that you know whoever whoever shall come you know let them come to the lord but here's the problem with that we know from just you know kanye west being put forth in the media we know that mr kanye west was going around for several years blaspheming our lord and savior calling himself yeezy and, and yeezus uh, he had the he had, he had the book of Jesus, if anybody remembers that. He had an album called Jesus, which is basically supposed to be like Jesus, but Jesus. Um, so you know these are just some things that you know we we can't just forget about. And again, I'm all for Kanye West repenting. I'm all for him giving his life to the Lord. But here's the thing: he never publicly repented of any of this. I mean, and, and it's not a coincidence that his Yeezus album was the sixth album. Six being the number of man. He's blaspheming our Lord and Savior by calling himself Yeezus. It's like a, it's just like a mockery to Jesus. He had the book of Yeezus. All right, the book of Yeezus. I'm sure some of you are already familiar with this, but we're just bringing it up again for conversation's sake. The Book of Jesus. Genesis, the traditional story of Genesis. We've replaced all the words God, or I don't know if that's supposed to say Yehovah or Jehovah with Kanye and Jesus or maybe it's supposed to say Yeshua I don't know it doesn't say Yeshua in my King James Bible it says Jesus 
but so basically in the beginning it would say in the beginning that basically Kanye or Jesus created the heaven and the earth I mean that's all I really got to say to that that's just blasphemy and the fact that the website is still up I mean the fact that they're still selling this book that's not fruits meet for repentance look over here book of Jesus a novelty coffee table back book celebrating the grandeur of mega icon Kanye West this is the Bible for the new age this is the Bible for the new age for the new age for the new age the book of Jesus now There's so much I could say in regards to all of this. I mean, where do you even begin? Kanye West, Jamal Bryant, Eddie Long, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. I mean, where do I begin with all of this? Well, why don't we just begin with... Let's see here. Why don't we begin with... Here, we'll begin with this. This is back in 2016. Jamal Bryant criticizes Kanye West for meeting with Donald Trump. Now, this is when Jamal Bryant was still the leader of Baltimore's Empowerment Temple Church. And might I add with Jamal Bryant, he's actually an adulterer. Um, he's, you know, committed adultery several times on his, on his former wife, Giselle. You know, children out of wedlock. He was dating uh, R&B singer Tweet recently. They split up. I mean, <laughs> and this guy he was he was in the pulpit the whole time. I mean, never never met never made a step down. Still in the pulpit. Television shows, you know, the Real Housewives of the of the Potomac. His wife, former wife Giselle, was on. Um, let's see what else. He had the 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 show with E. Dewey Smith. And John Gray and, an, and another fellow, I'll pull that up. There was like pastors, whatever. It was like a talk show, a little talk show for pastors. They're all imposters. Every last one of them. They're not. They're not real pastors. So, anyways, so Jamal Bryant. That's just a little background on him. He's also a Kappa Alpha Psi. He's a noob. Um, again, to be a Kappa Alpha Psi member, as we as we already discussed in the Lecrae documentaries, to be a member of that fraternity you have to go through the rituals there are no honorary members he's an open proud Kappa Alpha Psi member so I just want to throw that out there as well to become a member you have to bow down at the altar of Apollo anyway so Kanye West Kanye West had a meeting with Donald Trump and Jamal Bryant insinuated that the rapper Kanye West lost his soul after meeting with President-elect Donald Trump earlier this week. While West tweeted about some multi multicultural issues that he discussed with Trump, Bryant had a different perspective on the meeting. They made us hate ourselves and love they wealth. Kanye all falls down. So... There's Kanye and Trump. I know everybody remembers that. Kanye went through his thing. He, um, This was back in 2016. Kanye kind of like went crazy, they said, at the end of 2016. Went on a rant. Canceled his concerts and everything. I know he was supposed to have a concert in Atlanta. We were, you know, potentially going to go preach outside of. And, you know, everything got canceled. Um, and the next thing you know, Kanye West is coming out. Acting just a little strange. He's got blonde hair. You know, people are talking about MK Ultra, this, that, and the other quite possible i don't know i don't know what's going on with kanye i pray for him, man i mean you know but the Con kanye man he, he had to do what he had to do to get to where he's at you know he had to sacrifice his mother you know that was part of the part of the process you know he was i don't know what the situation now is with him and jay-z was yoked up with jay-z jay-z you know freemason prince hall freemason that is um here it's funny jamal bryant quotes here what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose your soul Jesus. That's one of the only times you'll ever see Jamal Bryant ever quote Jesus. He never quotes Jesus. This guy is such a heretic. Um, the out 
outspoken Maryland passer who has also made headlines this year for allegedly fathering a child out of wedlock and failing to make regular child support payments, took his Instagram, took to his Instagram page to post an image of Trump and West who posed for photos with reporters in the lobby of Trump Tower after the meeting. Brian added lyrics from West's 2004 song All Falls Down to the image which he captioned, They made us hate ourselves and love they well. And then he paraphrased Matthew 16:26. Which it says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Because many people say you can't sell your soul, but the Word of God says otherwise. The Word of God clearly says it right there. Jesus said, What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So in other words, when you're making an exchange, I'm like, Hey, I'm going to give you, Satan promised Jesus to give him all these different things we see in Matthew 4. He said, I'll give you all these kingdoms. I'll give you all of this if you just fall, fall down and worship me. He said, And again, the devil taketh them up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Amen. So, in this scripture, in Matthew 16 and 26, it goes on and says, And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So in other words, hey, I'll give you my soul and you can give me this, you know? Or or basically, you know, in the entertainment business um, and in general, you know, you have to make deals, right? So, so in other words, you want this fame, you want this fortune, you want all that comes with it. You want the, the baddest girl in the industry because, you know, like Kim Kardashian, right? You know, you want all this? Okay, what are you going to give us, Mr. Kanye? What are you going to give us? And that also comes with making sacrifices. That's why you always hear about people sacrificing their family members and whatnot. Kanye mom, Kanye's mom just happened to die going under the knife. I mean, come on. Just some routine cosmetic surgery and she dies? Okay. Anyways... So on Wednesday, Bryant followed up on his Instagram by posting by, on Instagram post by questioning West's mental health in a Periscope video, which it looks like the video might be removed. He might have removed it, but let me see. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Oh, oh it is still there. This guy. I'm not going to play this video, um, but you yeah, see okay. here, he says Kanye West makes a good case for mental health. Like, he's got any room to talk, though. So, there's the proof of it, though. That's the proof of it, where he's basically going off on Kanye West um, for even having a conversation with Donald Trump. Look, say whatever about that situation. You know, we know politicians, whether you're Republican, whether you're Democrat, it's the same, you know, different wings of the same bird. So I'm not going to get political. That's not what we're here for. Um, I didn't vote. I wouldn't vote. You know, I wouldn't vote for Trump. I wouldn't vote for Clinton. I wouldn't vote for none of them. I mean, it's it's a, it's pointless. They're going to put in there who they want to put in there. With that being said, this idiot, he just plays right into the left-right paradigm because he wants to keep people divided. And in particular, he wants to keep white people and black people divided. That's why he's always... That's why he's always telling, you know, the black people in his congregation oh, how oppressed they are. And he's here to set them free from the oppressor in reference to the white man. Um, so we're just going to leave that at that, though. So all that aside, all that aside, Kanye West is his own person. If he wants to, you know, go talk to Donald Trump, he can. You know, what say whatever about it. You know, I'm sure it's all just, you know, smoke and mirrors. But regardless of all that, he's still his own man. If he wants to go talk to Donald Trump, he can talk to whoever he wants to. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, he basically just goes on and talks about, you know, how how Kanye West is, uh, you know, he's, he's a mental case. And, and maybe he is, but so are you, Jamal. You have no right to say that about anybody. Then we have this article here with Kim Kardashian on 
the view. Um, she tells the view <laughs> that Kanye West is born again, saved by Christ. I mean, I'm probably not even going to play the clip because I'll probably get hit with copyright. Reality star Kim Kardashian West was a guest on The View Thursday where she spoke about her husband's religious beliefs and revealed that he sometimes hosts pop-up churches around the country through his music ministry Sunday service. Kanye started this to really heal himself and it was really it was really a personal thing and it was just friends and family, Kardashian West told Sonny Hostin, who asked about the Sunday service events. He has had an amazing evolution of being born again and being saved by Christ. People always ask, what are you worshiping? It is a Christian service, like a musical ministry. They talk about Jesus and God, she said. When asked if preachers are included, the new prison reform activist said, sometimes. She added, when he goes to another church, which he has, they've shown up and done these surprise little pop-up Sunday services in other churches, like with New Birth, um, that we're going to get into. Sometimes, at the meeting in Calabasas, He'll have friends that are pastors that are in town get up and speak, but for the most part, it's just a musical ministry. She also emphasized that her husband does not have a nonprofit status to make his Sunday service an official church, but said what he's doing is for God and it's a Christian church. Well, you don't need to be non. I mean, you're automatically uh, like none of that matters. You don't have to be 501c3 to be considered a church. You don't have to be registered with the state to be considered a church. You don't have to be incorporated. None of none of that is biblical. You don't have to be re registered as a non-profit. None of that is biblical. So, whatever about what she just said there, that's just all just fodder. You don't have to do any of that to be a biblical church because biblical churches in the first century New Testament church were not set up that way. They were not set up 501c3. They were not set up, you know, uh, tax deductible nonprofit. Which, if, regardless of your tax, I mean, you're you're not taxed regardless. You're a church, so all, all of that's just nonsense. All right. So West has made a dramatic change after starting up his very own church gatherings. Sunday service, excuse me, and it appears his upcoming album will affect his gospel gatherings. In late August, his wife posted video clips of Sunday service on her Insta story and snuck in a photo of a piece of paper next to an open Bible containing West's new album title, Jesus is King, track listing, and a release date for September 27th. The track list for the album is completely laced with references to Jesus, God, or the Bible. Baptized, Sweet Jesus, Garden, Selah, and Water are some of the tracks, to name a few. West and his Sunday service choir premiered Water, during a Sunday service session at Coachella Easter weekend. West began Sunday service meetings this year. As of now, the events happen every Sunday and include gospel music, some prayer, and preaching. Alright, so that's that's about it there. Um, I don't want to... I don't even... You don't even want to pull up her Instagram because it's just going to be filth. I mean... It's like, like you like, you're like oh let's try to you know let me show you I might I, I just want to show the picture if it's at all possible where she's showing the um, the track listing let me see if I can find it that that's like one of the only few pictures you'll see her post that you can actually look at Kanye West track listing for Jesus. is king let's see got to be very careful i'm telling you friends got to be very very careful oh here it is cool praise god i don't have to we don't have to see no naughties we don't have to see the naughties friends no naughties all right and many of you've probably already seen this i mean i think she's probably one of the most followed people on instagram probably like in the top five or top ten so, Jesus is king, which is true. Jesus is king, I agree. But we don't know what Jesus he's talking about. So this is what, this is the post that she had made on Instagram. Glade, garden, Selah, God is, baptized, Sierra Canyon, hands on, wake the dead, water, through the valleys, Sunday, sweet Jesus. 
And hey, I'd be all for Kanye West getting born again. I'm telling you, I would. But here's the problem. You know, I know you people ever heard the heard the phrase like putting the cart before the donkey. Well, that's like that's exactly what happens with all these different churches. It's no different than what's going on with Snoop Dogg doing a gospel album. It's no different than you know Tasha Cobbs doing a song with Nicki Minaj or Lecrae doing a song with Ty Dolla Sign and E40. It's no different than you have all these famous entertainers and athletes claiming to be Christian. It's no different. Everyone's just ready and willing to accept and believe them and and it's like it's like man if, if you guys are falling for this if you're falling for this you're not seeing any fruit to me for repentance then you're easily gonna fall for the Antichrist I mean it's just it's just obvious I hate to say it but it's just obvious you're easily gonna fall for the Antichrist if you're falling for falling for this kind of stuff but this is all part of the apostasy. This is all part of the great falling away. This is all part of the great deception, friends. Um, I mean, we'll just pull up some scripture right quick in, in these regards, just to just to really show you what we're dealing with here, because this is serious. I mean, this is this is really serious, and 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 I'm not saying once again. Because I know you're going to get a bunch of people coming on this video, sitting here saying, "Oh, you're just you're just judging, judge not, judge not. Who are you to judge? Take that beam out of your eye. He was out sin, cast the first stone." That's what they're going to say. It's because they want to be deceived. But this is what Jesus said, and Jesus answered and said unto them, "Take heed that no man deceive you." For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Many will come in his name, saying they are a Christian. Many will come in his name, saying they are anointed. But they're not. They're there to deceive you. They are there to deceive you, friends. He goes on and says in verse 11, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many many are going to deceive many many will deceive many and he goes on and says then if any man say unto you lo here is Christ or there is Christ believe it or there believe it not for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible if it were possible if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect the elect are not going to be deceived because we're being watchful we're being watchmen Jesus told us to watch 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 when you're being watchful, you're going to see when the thief is coming. So you're not going to be taken unawares. But those that, that are not watching, they're going to be taken unawares. See, in verse 43, Matthew 24, 43, Jesus says, But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. This is why we have to watch. We have to watch. We have to be prepared. Jesus told the disciples to watch and pray. He said, take heed. Take ye heed. Watch and pray, for ye know not when the time has come. We don't know when that time is going to come, and that's why we have to be watchful at all times. That's why we have to walk circumspectly at all times, and we can't let our guard down. We have to keep that full armor of God on. 24 7 because many people are coming to deceive they'll send a Kanye West in there they'll send a Jamal Bryant they'll send a Stephen Furtick um, man a Lecrae a Lauren Daigle they'll send these people in here to catch you off guard why is that friends because we're living in the last days we're living in the last days friends we're living in the days of deception. We're living in the days 
where the enemy is going to do do and try any means necessary any means necessary to get you to turn on the Lord Colossians 4 2 continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving first Thessalonians 5 therefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober We have to watch. Again, Revelation 3 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. That's why he said, if you do not watch. So if you're being watchful, you're going to see these things taking place. What's it say in 1 Timothy? Come on now. I know this ain't going to be a, a live stream, but what does it say in 1 Timothy, friends? 1 Timothy 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. This is falling away. This is a departure from the faith. First, uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two. It says, "Friends, that now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto Him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter, as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand." Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is why we have to watch, friends. We're not to trust and believe every spirit. We're to try the spirits, it says in the Word of God. This is called righteous judgment. We are called to judge. We do need to judge Kanye West. Not condemn him. Not, not condemnation judging. We don't have that ability to do so. Only the Lord does. But to judge righteously, spiritually speaking, from a spiritual mindset. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And that is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is it in the world ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world they are of the world therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them we are of God he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Friends, this is the spirit of error going on. That's what all this is. All this just just accepting anybody, accepting anybody in in, in the church. See, that's 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 one problem too, is what a church is. These places, I mean we've we've gone over this several times on this channel. Other, other people have covered this as well you know that it's it's church is not <laughs> church is not supposed to be a place where goats get entertained church is supposed to be a fellowship and gathering of the saints I mean just even even in the video uh, even in the video I think it might be this guy right here but I remember when I was watching towards the end of it earlier, I took a screenshot, and it was a, oh, I mean, it was a sodomite front row, a sodomite. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying a sodomite can't be saved, but an open practicing sodomite, 
He's up there in the front row because you're not. They're not these people up here. They're not here to worship God. They're here to worship Kanye West. They're here to worship Kanye West. I mean, it's clear and obvious. They are all dancing up in there like it was a club. I mean, come on, man. Like, who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? Jamal Bryant. I'm telling you, this guy right here. He's nothing but a scam artist. He is nothing but a scam artist. He's a Kappa Alpha Psi. He's never. I mean, he he, he openly. Proudly promotes being Cap Alpha Psi. Here he is with Savage 21 or 21 Savage, whatever this guy's name is. This 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 guy. I mean, look at it. he's all happy. And this guy's just like, meh, like meh. at a congressional black caucus with 21 Savage about to go in forum with Rep Maxine Waters and some other people about the weight of being young, gifted, and black because that's what it's always about with this guy. It's, it's always about being black. It's always about the race. It's always about race with this guy. Um, yeah, I'll probably show this too. Or no, not this. I'm sorry. Not this one. This ain't the one about the... Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, probably. Lord willing. I know I'm going to have to probably take a break on this and continue with a second part. But... Um, let me see here. I mean, I don't need to go through all his posts to prove to you that he's still a Kappa Alpha Psi, but, you know, I hope, I hope I've revealed enough, um, over the last several months, past year, whatever, in these regards that I don't need to keep showing that. I mean, here we go, like here, where they're letting their... You know they're letting their they're letting their hand, right hands know what their left hands are doing. Oh look, look how we bought all these shoes. You know, look how we got all these shoes. You know, up on stage for you know children, and praise God, do just do it. You don't got to make a big production about getting shoes for children. You don't have to turn that into a big production. Just do it. But see, this goes back again to letting your letting your left hand know what your right hand's doing. You know, to be seen of by men. I mean, it's it's all about it's all about being seen of by men. Look at this. You know, oh, new birth, back to school, drive-ins this Sunday, shoe size needed. You know, it's all about being seen of by men. I mean, praise God you're doing that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. When you're in these fraternities, they they do these good works. That's part of their fraternal organization is doing good works. Oh, here he's got this lady here in a bathing suit on his Instagram. That's that's awesome. But it's, it's all about being seen of by men. It's like, oh, look what we did, look what we did. And that's what these fraternities do. That's what they do. That's why Lecrae did it with his video with uh, Tori Kelly. You know, the, the St. Jude's, um, I believe it was St. Jude's for that video. They said, I'll find you. That That's actually like the direct organization that Kappa Alpha Psi works with for doing their good deeds. So, I mean, that's... You know, oh, look at Lecrae, look how awesome he is, you know, with this. That's just, he's just doing that for his fraternity. I mean, it's nothing like, God knows the motives of the heart. Let, let's keep it real, but, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at some of the stuff this guy posts on his Instagram. I remember this picture he posted. Here he was race baiting. He was race baiting in this picture, basically saying that these women right here, these three white women, were looking in disgust at these three, uh, African American sisters here, and oh man, I mean the comments were bogus. The comments were bogus on here. Um, like this one right here, girl, get the, get the f off this page. White women shouldn't even be looking at us unless it's with admiration. I mean, it, that's all this guy does is race bait. That's all he does. That's all he does. And the only reason he brought Kanye West in, you'll never see it packed out like that. Not like that. The only reason he bought Kanye West is for the money. That's all it is. It's all money. It's all a big show. See? Here's his brother, Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp's a Kappa Alpha Psi. Congratulations to my covenant brother, Marvin Sapp, being named the pastor of this church or whatever. Who cares? He's another Kappa Alpha Psi noob. He's, he, he's another effeminate man, too. Well, let's pull Marvin Sapp up right quick while we got him here. Why don't we find that picture of Marvin Sapp holding his purse? Should we find Marvin Sapp holding his purse? Yeah, this guy's a Kappa Alpha Psi. 
I mean, all these guys are connected too. Yep, exactly. Sold out. That's right. Y'all are sold out. I mean, this guy, he, he literally would take a picture holding his purse. I mean, y'all are going to trip when I show you this picture. But this is the kind of people we're dealing with, man. He's Cap Alpha Psi, too. Him, Lecrae, Montel Jordan. They like wearing that Lightning Bolt shirt. Lecrae got the same shirt on. Let's see. Oh, he's got to have the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci. I mean, come on, man. That is not of God. I'm sorry. It's really not. Men of the Lord don't need Louis Vuitton bags. Oh, you got Kurt Franklin hugging up all on him. That's so gay. Oh, look, look at that. Man, fitted, man. Ooh, look at that. Got the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton man bag. Whew. Wee. Like, we get it, man. You like Louis Vuitton. I wonder if Jesus would have rocked Louis Vuitton. I wonder if Jesus would have rocked Gucci and Rick Owens and some of these other filthy brands. Oh, if he got it, nah, shoot, even if I had it, I wouldn't do it. I rock me a, I rock me a, a, a ten dollar T-shirt and a fifteen dollar pair of shorts, and I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I know I'm getting close. I know I'm getting close, friends, but this guy's rocking a purse. There it is. Boom. Look at that. Rocking the purse. Look at me, man, taking a selfie with my purse. That's what real men do. We take selfies with purses. Marvin Sapp. That's uh that's his noop brother. That's his covenant brother. Anyways. Back to the Sunday service. Well, back to yeah. We'll go back to we'll we'll get back to the Sunday service stuff. I just wanted to show you, but he is a Cap Alpha Psi. Um, you can take my word for it if you want to. You can look it up yourself. I really don't care. I know the truth. I ain't got nothing to prove to anybody on this video. I just like to show the proof, though. So can't nobody try to say we're we're lying or or bearing false witness on Jamal Bryant. I don't want to. I don't want to bear false witness, but I know he is a cap alpha psi, and let's see. All right. Let's see. Um. Like I said, I mean, if you want to look it up, look it up for yourself. Oh, and well, and here's this too. Eddie Long was cap alpha psi, so I mean, it's no coincidence that they would put one of his fraternal brothers in his place that's not a coincidence it's not a coincidence at all I mean come on now that's why when they said Jamal Bryant was named the pastor I wasn't surprised at all it was a perfect fit perfect fit so Atlanta Journal Constitution this is Atlanta's newspaper nine things to know about new birth pastor Jamal Bryant and that's a big thing you know especially in the African American community they really, really, really put forth, especially down here in Atlanta, um, you know, that they're in the fraternities, that they're, you know, Kappa, they're Alpha Kappa Alpha, Alpha Phi Alpha, Omega Psi Phi, these kind of things. They brag and boast their fraternities. And again, to be in these fraternities, you have to bow down at the altar of another God. You have to worship another God. And if you're still a member, it means you're still worshiping that God. So... Brian still worships Apollo. All right, let's see. My computer's kind of running slow. So please bear with me. All right, boom. Fraternity. Kappa Alpha Psi. And again, like I said, he still promotes it. He's always promoting noobs. That's why you see right here in the uh, chat, you got a noob in there. Um, you know, ministries like his, uh, ministries like um, Destiny World Church in Austell, Georgia. That's like 15, not, not like 12 minutes from my house. Um, 
Dewey Smith's House of Hope. That's why they always do things for the fraternities. They're always repping the fraternities because they're in fraternities. You know, this guy's a Cap Alpha Psi, you know, uh, Purvis, you know, uh, Wilbur Purvis, the guy from Destiny's World Church. He's an Omega Sci-Fi. E. Dewey Smith, he's an Omega Sci-Fi. That's what they do, man. They're, they're fraternal. I mean, so, I mean, more than likely, these guys are Freemasons, too, because the god of Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity, they refer to him in their ritual handbook as the supreme architect of the universe, which is what Freemasons call their god, the, the great architect or the grand architect of the universe. So, it's the same thing. It's the same god. It's not the father god. So, yeah, this... This is just a little bit what's going on in here. I think that's two chains right there. I think that's two chains right there. But yeah, I don't want to get too deep into this because I don't know if I'll get hit with a copyright for showing this. But barely hear him. I don't know why it's so... going to forward it to the end and just kind of I just let this ride out. Well, maybe it's a different guy. I don't know. But then it said two chains is there. Ti is there. Chris Tucker, Jermaine Dupree. Obviously Kanye West. I don't know if Kim's there or not. Man, Creflo might be having him next. Just cheer on anything, man. You don't have to have no fruits. No fruits whatsoever. You can just say, oh, you're a Christian now, and they're just going to believe you.
obviously, people want to be deceived. They want to be deceived. I guarantee you, in this over three hour service, repentance was not preached one time. I wonder if it's going to be like this next week. Everybody going to be standing up like that, getting all into it. Oh, man. This is sad, friends. This is a very, very sad day. Alright, let's let this heretic talk now. It's about the one time you'll hear him use the name Jesus. I want to do a couple of things real quick before you run from the It's one of the few times you see white people at his church, too. Just wanted to let that be known. Interesting, he said 153. Think about the 153 fish on, in the book of John. New birth Tuesday night. We're not here. We're going to be at the Dream Center as the Chalilas here. All of our guests, all of our guests here. All right, he said they're going to be at the Dream Center. That was the last thing I wanted to play. Um, Dream Center is William Murphy's Synagogue of Satan. And we'll just pull up William Murphy right quick in the Dream Center. I brought him up um, a few days ago when I did that live stream. So I just wanted to actually pull that up right quick since he brought up William Murphy. And... It was interesting because I was telling my wife about William Murphy being on stage performing with um, Erica Badu, an open known witch, and this guy is the so-called bishop of the Dream Center ATL, which is also the church that Tasha Cobbs is from, and she's considered a quote-unquote pastor at this church, but we know there's no such thing as female pastors. So, anyways... So I was telling my wife about this video of him on stage performing with her, and then like literally the next thing I see, G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries did a video about this. I was like, oh wow. That's Murphy. That's common, and that's Erica Badu. You to prophesy with your body language like this. He's leaving. You gotta leave with it. Say in my direction. You gotta follow. Say he's leaving. He's leaving. You gotta leave in my direction. 
This guy's a witch too. I'ma prove it. Alright. That guy's a witch too, I'ma prove it. Let me see if it's gonna be on his Instagram page. If I just I'll just do a Google search of this guy. So again, he he's the Dream Center ATL. Um That's his congregation. Sorry for the feedback there. One, he always likes to do the Masonic hand sign. But we'll uh, we'll get back to that here in a second. All right, boom, here we go. This picture right here. All right, now I want you to pay close attention to this picture. A couple different things you'll notice here. First thing I noticed, even for his hand, is this witchcraft sigil on his shirt. Now we can't fully see what it is, but he has had several pictures with this shirt on. And in this particular picture, you notice he has his hands almost like a puppeteer where you would see like strings coming off the hands controlling puppets. Now some could say, oh, he's doing hands, you know, like he's playing a piano or something. Maybe. Maybe exoterically that's what he's doing. But esoterically, I, I see strings coming from his hands controlling puppets as a puppeteer. And you got a witchcraft sigil on his shirt right there. That's a witchcraft sigil all day. All day. And this is the this is the so-called bishop of the Dream Center in Atlanta. That's where Jamal Bryant was saying they're going to be at Tuesday um, for Bible study. They're not going to be studying the Bible. I'm going to tell you that much right now. See, here he is again. Nice free Masonic hand sign there. I mean, who just stands like that? Nobody just stands normally like that unless you're letting it be. I mean, come on, man. Seriously. I mean, come on. Like, seriously. Let's let's just keep it real. Um, Let me see. But yeah, there's some more pictures of him in this shirt, but you get the point. I, I mean, that's all you really need to see is the one, I, I, I would think. I don't think I'd have to keep showing him. See, here here it is. Here it's on the album cover. See, right there. Album cover. His album cover, he's got it on. I mean, come on, man. What What is that? What is that? What does that mean? It looks just like any other witchcraft sigil I've seen, whether it's like the Lucifer sigil or what other sigils that these witches use to communicate their witchcraft language. Um, so, yeah, that's William Murphy, though. You know, again, performing on stage with Erica Badu. You know, his his uh, so-called female pastor, Tasha Cobbs. Got a song with Nicki Minaj. Yeah, see, she got a song with Nicki Minaj, I'm Getting Ready. Tasha Cobb's got that really popular song that everyone's singing right now. Um, uh, what's it called? Well, she got the song Break Every Chain, but then she also has the song, Yeah, Your Spirit. Um, I mean, everyone's just in love with the song. I'm honestly kind of annoyed by it because I don't, they have another spirit. So, and, and, and let me let me say that too. So, the Word of God says that to obey is better than sacrifice and that rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft so when a woman is usurping the authority of a man and claiming to be a pastor because there are no female pastors that's not biblical any woman who calls himself a female pastor ergo is actually operating under witchcraft so with that being the case why would i want to even listen to this song why would i want to listen to their music that they're performing when it has a spirit of witchcraft behind it it tickles the ears and it sounds all wonderful and good but a female pastor is operating with another spirit she's operating under the spirit of witchcraft she's operating with the revelation 220 spirit the spirit of jezebel and they need to repent i i, I don't play about that that's one thing i definitely don't play about there's no such thing as female pastors and i'm gonna do a separate video on that because of people like Monica Monica Hill Treo of Kingdom Music is claiming that she has been told by God that she's going to be a pastor. 
no you're not Monica and plenty of people came with the word of God to correct her and she bucked up in pride and arrogancy and said I'm going to listen to what God tells me to do well God told you what to do in his word in his word it says that a woman is to be the keeper at home you need to be a keeper at home and raise up your children and quit trying to usurp man's authority and God's authority and try to do your own thing like Eve. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds, and I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and the hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. These people need to stop doing what they're doing, man. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Tasha Cobbs, <laughs> you're, you're acting a fool there, girl. And, and and again, this is the Dream Center, the Dream Center ATL. I know this this video wasn't to be about that, so to speak, but being the fact that Jamal Bryant's yoked up with these people, they're all yoked up, man. This is the spirit that's operating. It's the spirit of Antichrist. It is the spirit of apostasy. It is the great falling away. And they're yoking up with all these people. Again, Snoop Dogg doing a gospel album. He got gospel album of the year. And who cares about all that award stuff? All that's fodder. It's all wicked. It's all nonsense. But the point of the matter is, is that, is that uh, Christians or so-called Christians, professing Christians, are just accepting it. They're not testing the fruit. I mean, even this thing with Benny Hinn claiming that he repented. I want to put that out there just so people know. I don't believe that Benny Hinn was genuine. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope that he would have fruits meet for repentance. I'm not surprised that he didn't. I'm not surprised about any of these things. This is what the Word of God says. But people need to be watchmen on the wall warning these people of what's going on. That you're being deceived. You're taking the fruit because you... You, you're, you're still carnal and you don't want to let go of the Kanye West. You don't want to let go of the hip hop. You don't want to let go of the NBA and the NFL. So they're going to use people like Steph Curry. They're going to use people like a Drew Brees or, you know, uh, some of these NFL players and, and other athletes and whatnot. Why? To keep you carnal. To keep you worldly. That's why. That's why they're doing it. That's why they're doing it, friends. But friends... The Word of God says that that friendship with the world is enmity with God. It is enmity with God. You cannot be a friend of the world and a friend of God at the same time. That doesn't mean that we don't go preach the, the gospel to the lost. That doesn't mean that we don't encourage them. But what that does mean is we don't do the things the world does. We don't partake of the things that the world does. We don't act worldly. We don't. I mean, I'm sorry, but Christians who who Christians who still, you know, especially if you're if you've been in the faith any any amount of time, and you're still just going to the NFL and watching the NFL and NBA and and all that, going to the games and all that. I'm sorry, man. That's carnal. That is carnal, especially considering the fact that all these organizations they all support the sodomite agenda. They all support it. They're all in support of the sodomite agenda. So why are Christians even partaking of that? And don't make excuses. Don't give me that, oh, it falls under uh, the liberty. What, what is that in Romans? Is it Romans 14, I think? They try to say, oh, you know, liberty. We got liberty. We got liberty. Yeah, you got liberty to go to hell, too. You got liberty to go to hell by being worldly and being carnal. It's just that simple. So this is what's going on, man. We, we've seen it. This is nothing new. Everybody already knows about the Sunday service stuff with Kanye West. Everybody already knows. Um, everybody already knows, you know, with with uh, with all of this. I mean, look, like I said, I'm all for Kanye giving his life to the Lord. I'm all for that. But <laughs> I mean, I'm all for anybody giving their life to the Lord. But we got to see fruit, friends. We're, we're to try the spirits. We're not to believe the spirits. We ain't to believe these people, man. We're not called to. We're not called to trust these people. Man, there's many deceivers out there. There's many, many vain deceivers out there, man. And they're trying to pull people to hell. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, when it comes down to all of this, friends, it's about our souls. 
either it's about being with the Lord or being with the enemy at the end of the day there's no gray area Satan is gonna do anything and everything he can to try to pull you down to hell with him so that's why the Word of God says to abstain from all appearance of evil. We, we, we got to abstain from all this. We have to abstain from all of this. I mean, why? That, that, that's the thing, you know, me and a friend of mine were talking last night, a uh, cameraman, you know, we were talking last night about, you know, with, with tiptoeing the line with, with Christian hip hop and Christian rap, you know, because I've, I've been torn about the Christian rap part of it. Now, Christian hip hop is one thing, but. You know, I agree with him though. It really, it's 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 like people want to tiptoe that line instead of just abstaining altogether. No, we want to we want to tiptoe and and sprinkle some of this in and sprinkle some of that in. And most of these Christian, even so-called Christian rappers, guess what? One thing they all have in common: they're all proud, and you can't tell them nothing. They don't take correction. They don't take correction. I mean, Brian Trejo's wife is showing cleavage in that video, one of their most recent videos, and she said she took the correction. No, they didn't. The video's still up. You can still see her cleavage in the video. So what is that? And then she's talking about being a pastor. I mean, that goes right along. Honestly, that goes right along what it says in Revelation 2.20 about that woman, that, that, that prophet calls herself a prophetess, seducing my servants to commit fornication. Now that could be in reference to spiritual fornication, but even physical fornication. How many men now have lusted over that man's wife because her cleavage is on display? And yeah, it's about what, what's in their heart, but also if you're, you're putting yourself up as a teacher. She's calling herself a teacher. She's teaching women's Bible studies, and she can't even cover her chest. You can't even cover your chest, so what you're doing is you're causing a stumbling block, young lady. You need to sit down and you need to repent. And you need to get your house in order. And you too, Brian, you need to put your wife in check, bruh. You need to put your wife in check. We're going to make a separate video on that. I feel led to now by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Because people like that in the, in the Christian rap, you can't tell them nothing. They're proud. They're arrogant. And then they try to come off with false humility. God didn't tell you to be a pastor. God didn't tell not one single woman to become a pastor because it contradicts his word. 1 Timothy 3, read the qualifications of a bishop slash pastor. A bishop, a pastor, is interchangeable. Why? Because they're an overseer. They're a shepherd over a flock. When you want to break down the meanings of these words, that's what a bishop is. It says, this is a true saying. If a man, not a woman, if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. He, 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 it says he. A man, it says he. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. The husband of one wife. There are no female pastors. There are no female bishops. It's not in the Bible. You are not going to find it. God's not going to contradict his word. Everything we're seeing today, everything I presented today, it's in the Word of God. We're living in the apostasy. We're living in the falling away. People are going after their own lust, their own desires, their own carnality. Why? Because they're not being led by the Holy Spirit. They're being led by another spirit, and that spirit is the spirit of Antichrist. Repent. Repent today. Repent, followers of Jamal Bryant. Repent, followers of Kingdom Music. Repent, followers of the Dream Center, William Murphy, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, Kanye West Sunday Service followers. Repent. Repent. Because the day is coming where Jesus Christ is going to be returning very, very soon. And if you're not ready, if you're not found without spot, wrinkle, and blemish like it says in the Word of God, He's going to say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I pray this message touches somebody i pray this message opens up somebody's heart and somebody's mind to the truth of god's word and that we stop disobeying god and that we take this walk serious we take his words serious 
In Jesus' name we pray, amen.